This video is going to show you how to convert anchor points in Adobe Illustrator. So for our Word assignment, once you have right-clicked and created outlines, you might want to mess with some of these anchor points to stretch or alter your word. To do that, you have to use the white arrow, the direct selection tool, and you have to click on an anchor point to activate it, and then you can stretch and pull it. If you'd like to do two at once, and you've got a background as I do, you might want to click once, hold down shift, click on the other, let go of shift, then click and pull your letter. Of course, you can also move your background out of the way so it's not bothering you while you're designing. Now let's say I want to have drippy marks come off the round part of my D and my P. And if I use my white arrow and pull, oops, got to click first to select, then click pull. That's not exactly what I'm going for. I need more of these little anchor points to deal with the drippy marks. To do that, you would use the pen tool, but you're going to click and hold the pen tool and find the add anchor point tool underneath. Then you can add anchor points along the curve so you've got more points to manipulate. Back to that white arrow, click an anchor point to activate it, click and pull it to get what you want. This bezier bar here is the tool that allows you to make that a more curvy and more drippy looking space. You can pull those anchored points and bezier bars wherever you like to make this look the way you want it to look. So make sure white arrow is for direct selecting, black arrow again if you'd like to click on your entire word and move the whole thing. White arrow for individual parts that you're going to manipulate by directly selecting. 